Okay, welcome back. Uh, in the last video, we started getting all of our data from the user. We checked for the existence of the name and our message, and we have begun getting all of the uh, <clears throat> the various things we need for our uh, our date. So um, I did check, and this should be an F. So just to test this out to make sure it's right to make sure it's what I want refresh yes okay so we have December Where's it? there it is um, so we have our date uh, pretty much done I mean this is like the bare uh, bare necessity for um, for a date you have the month so it's December today is the 27th and it's 2009 so only got a few more days till New Year's. Yay! Um, so now we're gonna get our uh, we're gonna make a date variable, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this date variable. I'm gonna set it equal to the proper formatted for the month. So the date is December, and then pretty much like a like a normal date. So oh sorry. So it'd be December, and then the day of week is, you guys can't see that, so it'd be December 27th, and then comma, and then year. So if I echo out the date, it'll say December, ah, uh, ah, uh, that's why, day of month, sorry about that. We refresh, resend, I didn't save that. There we go, December 27, 2009. So we have our date properly formatted. Now, if you want, um, which this isn't necessarily required or anything, of course, but um, AM or PM, um, I'm simply going to call it AM or PM, it's the date function, but the letter is either a lowercase a or capital A. Now, a lowercase a will give you AM or PM in, uh, in, in lowercase, but if you put a capital A, it'll be uppercase. So it isn't really required, but it's still somewhat nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a lowercase. Now, I'm just going to copy this. And the time zone, now I'm on the, uh, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. So if you put a capital T, and if I change the date, uh, well, the uh, AM and PM are usually for time. So I'm going to put these with the time. Uh, so we're going to format the time now. So uh, the time is essentially the same thing, except you have hours. Oops. You have hours, you have uh, minutes. So I'm going to say min. And then, and then you have seconds. So the hours is, I'm going to check right quick. Okay, yeah, so I was uh, right about that. So it's a G, a lowercase g for hours, the minutes is I, and the seconds is S. So we have G, I, and S, and then our A and our T. So if we uh, make our time variable, and this is going to be equal to essentially the same thing as our date, except it's going to be hours, and then a colon, and then minutes, and another colon, and then our seconds. So we have, if we just echo out our time, and 1241 and 32 seconds. And if you come down here and look at my clock, it's 1241 on Sunday, December 27, 2009. So, if, uh, now for the AM and PM, uh, usually when you see time and it has a AM or PM on it, it's usually right after the time, and then you have the time zone. So we'll simply just put AM or PM, and then we'll put our time zone. Now, as I said before, I'm on the uh, Eastern Standard Time. So right there, it's 12.42 PM Eastern Standard. So we have our date, and we have our time formatted correctly. Now we can get rid of our echo. So um, I'm just going to put some comments in here. Format date and format time. So we have our date and our time formatted. Now what we're going to do 
is we're actually going to connect to the database and insert all of our data. So we're going to create a query, and it's going to be equal to a MySQL query. Where is it? There it is. Sorry. Oops, I hit enter. It's going to be equal to a MySQL query, and we're going to be using the insert into, and if we go back to our database, our uh, table is called guestbook. So we change this or put this as guestbook. So insert into guestbook. So now we put uh, values and then in parentheses we put all of our values. So we put our uh, uh, what's it called? Our, our ID as our first one and our ID is set to auto increment. So we just leave it blank. And then we have our name, so you simply put in dollar sign name. And then you put, we have our, whoops, our message, so you put dollar sign message. And then you do the same thing for all of our, uh, all of our values, and then we have our date, and then our time. So if we save it, and... If we go back, we put our name, name is Nick, and this is a test in the, or in my guest book. And I spelled guest wrong. Okay, so we have, this is a test in, God. Making all kinds of mistakes. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Um, so we have this is a test in my guest book. Now I'm gonna purposely put a, a line in between this and put uh, something uh, something random. It doesn't really matter. And we click submit. Oh, hmm. Host. Ah, that's why. Sorry, I forgot to connect. Um, now, I have my connect uh, file already set up, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to connect. So I'm just going to include the, uh, oops, the uh, connect.php. So if we refresh and resend, we get nothing. But if we go back into our guestbook, and because I haven't been active for a little bit, we go back into our guestbook, we see that we have something inserted. So we have the date properly inserted, and we have the time properly inserted. <coughs> oh, sorry. And we have our message and the name. And our uh, ID has been auto incremented. Um, so I'm going to stop this here. Um, in the next video, we're going to put in a. Uh, um, uh, like a success message, if you will, saying that, oh, you're, uh, it, it has been inserted into the database, and then we'll uh, start displaying our data. Alright, so check out the next video.